R5 is my first rover for outdoor operations. The robot has a mass of 3300 grams and the dimensions are 34 times 48 times 23 centimeters. The chassis is composed of 5mm poplar plywood. The windows are made of 4mm acrylic plastic. To cut the plastics I used my CNC version 2.1, you can get the build instruction on my project pages. The undercarriage has 6 wheels driven by brushed DC motors. The metal gear has a transmission of 30 to 1. Two additional gears, one metal wheel with 10 teeth and one plastics wheel with 50 teeth result in an overall transmission of 150 to 1. Through a double H bridge the motors can be switched to drive forward... ...or backward. To turn the robot around, the motors of one side are switched fully on, while those at the other side are switched in short pulses. You can also switch the motors of both sides fully on with different directions, by what the robot turns on the spot. A drawback of that method becomes obvious in grass, the motors get nearly stalled while the robot turns extremely slow. The computing units are a Raspberry Pi and an Atmega 328P with Arduino bootloader. The energy is stored in two lead acid batteries with 6 volts and 4.5 ampere hours. The electronics draws its current from only one battery, while the second battery is needed to provide 12 volts for the drive motors. A linear regulator with a heatsink steps the 6 volts of the battery down to 5 volts needed for the computers. While in operation, the electronics draws a current of up to 600mA. While driving, the 6 motors draw an additional current of up to 2500mA. The internet connection through VLAN is provided by the Raspberry Pi. The Arduino reads the battery voltage and as soon as it falls below a given threshold, the motors and the Raspberry Pi are powered off. Three lines are used to establish communication between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. In doing so, the Raspberry Pi can read the battery voltage and so shut down correctly before the voltage is cut off by the Arduino. The battery voltage is also displayed using three LEDs behind a window of the rover. The photovoltaic cells at the roof of the rover are connected to the first battery that is used to power the Raspberry Pi and the electronics. Even under perfect conditions, the power delivered by the photovoltaic cells isn't sufficient to power the rover, there is always current drawn from the batteries. Four push buttons at the corners of the bumpers are used as collision sensors. If one of the switches gets closed, the Raspberry Pi cuts off the electric power delivered to the drive motors. With a servo, the USB camera can point to the top... ...to the bottom... ...or straight ahead. Fifteen LEDs at the top of the rover are used as headlights and they can be switched in four groups. In the near future, an infrared interface will be added to the electronics. 
Using that interface you can communicate with receivers placed at points of special interest and so trigger an audio file whenever the rover is approaching. This is Hadrian's wall built by the Romans in the province Britannia. You can get the schematics and software of this rover as well as the specification sheet of its successor on the project page. There you can also read how to rent the successor of this robot for a while and so help that rover making a trip around the globe. Furthermore, on my pages you can make suggests for upgrading the robot with special sensors. I hope to get lots of feedback. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.